I know that after having a spinal cord injury, one of your main questions is whether or not you can drive. And the answer to that question is yes. And I got this van equipped with uh, hand controls so that I could drive. I got it in uh, November like 29th or 30th of last year, which would have been the year of 2018. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you uh, my setup with the hand controls and how all of that works and how I'm able to drive myself around. So if you've watched my videos before, then welcome back. But if you haven't, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I upload videos to help other people out and I try to upload videos to help you live life just like you would have able-bodied. So I have this remote right here and I just open the door by pressing a button and the door will slide open and the ramp will come down. Now you can see that this is uh, quite uh, steep to actually get up and that's because I have the kneel off and this van does have a kneel to where whenever the ramp comes out it will kneel down so that ramp is not so steep if you're in like a manual wheelchair or something but uh, I turn that off because I'm always in my power chair and so I just go up the ramp so I just come up the ramp like this and then I go into my spot so this right here is an easy lock uh, system and basically what it does is it locks my wheelchair in place so that way when I'm driving the van my wheelchair doesn't move so you can see that right there there is like a little slot and on the bottom of my wheelchair is a bar that is about this long or so and so that bar is in the middle of my wheelchair and I want to put that bar right in that slot once it gets a certain ways in there it'll lock in place and then you can see up there in front of where it says easy lock there is a metal piece that's straight up and down and what that is is a piece that keeps that prevents my wheelchair from turning left and right so if you look right here um, I don't know if you can see it but there is a metal piece in front of this yeah you can see it right there so what that does is it's a uh, like a triangle part and the middle of that triangle will fit in the top of that metal piece right up there where it says easy lock. In order to actually get in place I will tilt my wheelchair back a little bit and drive up there and this seat belt right here is the one that goes across my chest and uh, it's nice because I basically don't have to put it on it's just stationary but one thing they did change on my wheelchair other than that bar on the bottom is my seat belt and they had to put a different seat belt on my wheelchair for uh, since I would be using the seat belt for whenever I was driving so I will get this seat belt on and it looks like like an old Cadillac seat belt I don't know why but once I got the seat belt on I also have this chest strap here and I will put it around my chest and then I will pull the strap tight and then I will go up here. I align that metal piece with the center of my wheelchair so right between my two foot plates and I will go straight forward and you might get caught if you don't have your feet up high enough. So I just go in here and it will lock it once and then go a little more and it locks twice. So now what I do is I will go down a little bit so that way my knee isn't rubbing against this bar and I will move this joystick out of the way and turn it off. Here are the hand controls and this right here is called a push rock hand control and what you do is you push it forward and that is the brake and if you rock it back like this that applies the gas so you can see this push rock hand control has one bar down here and it's connected to the brake down there 
and the gas is actually connected electronically and you initiate that by pressing this button right here. And since I am a quadriplegic, I don't have very good hand dexterity, uh, just tenodesis, so I can't actually move my fingers. So what I use in order to actually control the steering wheel is this right here, which is a tri-pin. And basically, I just put my hand around this, and I put my wrist between these two pins right here. And this will allow me to turn the wheel left and right, and it's on this spinner so it just does this and so when you're bored and sitting here you can just do this to keep entertained it's a homemade fidget spinner so then this big old mechanism right here which looks like a gear shift is actually for the parking brake which is down there and they had it to where it was like half this size or shorter but the thing is my seat belt was so tight that I couldn't reach it so they extended this way up here and I think it's just hilarious so then this uh, silver button right here uh, whenever you turn on the vehicle in order to actually have the hand controls work you will have to press this button now the uh, brakes will work without pr uh, pressing that button but that's because it is connected to this right here so when you press the brakes the uh, brake will move since it's connected to this. But in order for the accelerator to work since it is connected electronically you have to press this button. Alright so now I'm going to start the vehicle and in order to do that you will need to push this forward to apply the brake and then you will press this button right here to start the vehicle. Um, this vehicle actually doesn't have an ignition with a key it's just all operated right here by this button. So once you push this brake in, you can press this, and it'll start like that, and this button over here will start flashing blue. And you only have a certain amount of time to actually uh, engage it. So do that like that, and now the gas will work. If you can hear that. All right, so if I wanted to put it in drive, I would push this brake forward and then I would grab right here and move this down to drive and then to actually uh, use the gas which I'm not going to do right now I would pull this back like this so after you get done driving you can press this button right here to stop the vehicle and so I'll press this and now the vehicle is off so what I will do in order to get out of here is I will turn on this and be sure to raise up my legs from a wheelchair so I can clear that down there and this switch right here is for the locking mechanism that locks my wheelchair in place so this is an easy lock switch and right here it says release so if I press this um, it will let me go but if I don't press it and I try backing up um, it is locked in place so if I press this, you will hear a noise. And now you have a certain amount of time to actually back up. So like I said, this uh, seat belt is stationary. So even when I back up, it'll just stay right here. There are multiple buttons in this van as well as on this key to actually deploy the ramp and open the doors. But I'm just going to press this on my key to open the ramp. So then I come out, and then I can press this button again to deploy the ramp back up. So that is the hand controls and my setup in my van on how I drive myself around. And let me know down in the comments below how you uh, drive yourself around, what kind of hand controls you have. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to do so, so that way you can be notified every time I upload a video.